Good morning, Galaxy Heroes. So, relics dropped um, yesterday. Yesterday? The, or, yeah. So, this is from yesterday. Yesterday was Thursday, the 12th of September. Uh, so, yeah, relics dropped. And um, our guild, more with a space between the M and the funny AW. I believe we're rank sixth at the moment in overall GP and fourth overall on territory war points. Brilliant. I, 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 I have this uncanny act of finding people with, that are polluting with noise constantly wherever I go. Anyway, you probably hear the wind rushing past me as well. Yes, it's windy in Britain. Uh, okay, so basically the idea here, and I've speeded this up a bit uh, just to make the video a little bit shorter. Uh, this is me working on my Geonosian Brood Alpha. I elected from, well, just from the fact that relics dropped, we're in the middle of GOTB. This was for phase two of four, uh, which meant that it was the Acclay mission. So what I wanted to do was give myself an even better chance. I've managed to clear it the past couple of times. Oh my God, another. Sorry, noise pollution everywhere. You don't realize how much noise pollution there is around until you try and record something and then publish it. And then everyone's like, dude, what the hell? Do you live on a building site? No, I just live in a very noise polluted environment. Yay. Lots of people, little space. Right, so what we're doing here is we're just going through and upping the levels of relic, the relic levels. I don't know what we call this. Darth Relic Target 7. That's the objective here and I think we achieve it. This takes me ages. I still have, I'm still not fully up on it. Yeah, any more noise pollution. Uh, still not fully up on it. But I've now worked out that if you press and hold on icons or on gear where you have a lot of it, by a lot of it, uh, at the start of this, I had 7,000 in a lot of the gear. Uh, as you can see here, I've got 4,042 Mark I Blast Tech whatever the hell that was um, yeah so I'm just boosting it up and the idea as I say was to get oh my god sorry I've just seen a great big crane now driving in front of me yay I work on a building site I do oh I don't actually work on a building site it's just a huge amount of building work is going on all around the site yay and now they've sent a bloody great crane in that can't make the turn to get wherever the hell it is that it needs to go. Okay, enough of that. Back to this. So, yes. Uh, basically, Geonosian Brood Alpha. Uh, my thought process on this was the higher relic level he is, transfers, sorry about this, this is the crane reversing behind me. Uh, yeah. So, this is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, this uh, relicking. But uh, we're getting there. We are getting there. So, <coughs> lots of farming. How are you feeling about it? What are your thoughts on relics? Actually, what are your initial thoughts? on relics. I think that we're going to need relics to be, oh look, it's time to get up. Um, yeah, this was done early yesterday morning. So, uh, yeah, I'm saying that a lot, aren't I? What are your, what are your initial thoughts? I'm, I'm hearing about people giving up the game because of this, which just seems a bit extreme. Uh, although the argument was put to me that, you know, players that have invested a lot so far want to kind of maintain that status and are just not prepared to invest and yeah like everything that's introduced into this game it's it's designed to 
milk us for as much cash as they can possibly get out of us and also raises another question which is um, if you're farming cantinas for the characters will you continue to do that or will you now have to stop those farms to switch over for relic materials in which case what happens to the farms I was discussing this on Thursday's RSG lunchtime stream you know and the fact that well not the fact what I was putting forward was that um, we need we need to be able to get shards from somewhere else if we're being committed to farming gear materials so we're either looking at gear 12 or 13 well gear mats to take our tunes to gear 12 which is the new gear 11 and then the finishing pieces to 13 and then these relics now to effectively take it take them to 14 this is taking forever i'm really sorry about how long this is this is rolling on for uh and this is as i say this is speeded up not hugely maybe but it's definitely speeded up wow all that talk and we're still not even on to number four yet come on have i yeah look look, look. i've finally found the slider that's going to make things a lot quicker so there's 71 of those pieces there which will give me 80 no no i can't even decide on that just click the button forever or whatever there we are click again yes still only got 13 of the 35 pieces have we see looking at the screen now i think this is just kind of indicating where we're going but i've got 133 of the buggers how many more do i need do i realize probably not so keep converting keep converting what it does mean of course is that like everything else it's whatever excess is uh, goes forward uh, is in the pool for the next one so up to four and if you can see here the health is really really ramping up now need a ton of these wow i'm sorry this really is a lot longer than i thought it was going to be 91 of those let me hopefully notice yes there we are come on then click up to number five yay so what's that Sixteen thousand additional health there uh yeah it's all ramping up and of course the the nice thing is is that gian ocean brood alpha is is a unique character in game at the moment because effectively he's what a doppelganger no he's not a doppelganger um thinking split you've got kind of like the reasoning one and then the brute uh, yeah so uh i as you can see i held on and store stocked up on my cantina currency uh this is really going to be the uh the one we're all limited on how many refreshes that we can do on anything and i think cantina goes up to 1600 and well 1600 crystal refreshes uh yeah so this is where they're going to get an awful lot of revenue just from people buying lots of crystals to be able to do all as many refreshes as possible to get to the target come on then we need 25 we've got that can we click on here no we still need one more piece it's in there we've got 21 i'm just looking for the the gear with the highest number on it that should do go on all right go back come on sorry i'm getting frustrated with myself here for just how long this is taking but of course this was uh this was new so yeah uh, tentative beginnings uh it will all become commonplace soon enough i suppose but now boom there we go maxed out 
So nearly 20,000 additional health here on my Brood Alpha. Um, yeah, just looking at the other tunes. And finally, yes, I got it. Here we go. So this is a Gear 13 Relic Level 7 Gian Ocean Brood Alpha. Everyone, as you can see, except for Poggle, is Gear 13. None of the others actually have any of the relic mats on them here um i believe the next video which i'll upload later which is the what tambor mission i go in and i take the other three gear 13s to relic level one because that's where i get stuck on materials to do any more Basically, I don't have any canteen energy at present to be able to do that. So, finally, there's the acclaim. This is at normal speed. So, the, the, the initial stuff, <coughs> excuse me, was speeded up. Um, this is at real time. And, yeah, so, this is kind of a, a dual thing here that you... Uh, You've got the strategy. A, uh, the, the initial strategy is just brute strength or attack, going after the acclay, and then a bit of strat I try to employ, uh, not really well actually, but is getting rid of the AOE or healing adds. So the Vanguard, who does all the revives and stuff, get rid of him dodgy name Jedi get rid of him because he does have an AOE so the one I can't hit now at the moment is the Sentinel because Sentinel is stealthed so let's go back to the Acclay boom boom um, I think nearly every time that I get to choose I choose Geon Ocean Spy I can't remember why now but I do so we're three away from Enrage at the moment so We've got rid of all the protection at present. We've got nice little buffs on him. Do I recognize? Yes, I do. Let's get rid of the AOE Sentinel. And of course, that gives all my Geos retribution, as you can see. So, yeah, killing the ones with the fit, killing the ads gives you retribution. If you hadn't noticed that, uh, just pointing that one out. Yay, nice Jedi helping us out there a bit. Was that Consular? I think it is. So, Acclay now in to half green. Uh, additional protection ups come into play. Um, we've only got one add at present. We're one away from Enrage. Turn meter is climbing. I think I try and delay that now. Yeah, I've delayed it a bit don't think I'm gonna go for the big hit from spy I'm too timid on that one at the moment it's in green I don't I really didn't think that the the big hit would do anything there all right so now we're gonna go into enrage I can't prevent that um, I've just got a right there's the enrage here's all the ads back up uh, and now I'm in trouble so there's the Sentinel. The only problem is hit with hitting the Sentinels, of course, is that they stealth. There are two Sentinels. So uh, we've got them down a bit. Vanguard. Does Vanguard do an AOE? Can't remember. But that Sentinel, first of all, both Sentinels actually have come out of stealth now. Uh, did I lose? No, not yet. I've still got everyone. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert there. Uh, da, 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 you're gone. So we've got some retribution at least. So they'll go back and hit the Clay after he's done his bit. Get rid of... Oh, no. Are we going to... You're right. Get rid of him. So Clay doesn't have any protection up at present. But, of course, is enraged. So, um, yeah. Houston, we have a problem. Oh didn't do the AOE. I think I was a bit fortunate on that. Let's get rid of this bugger here that does the AOE. So Sentinel's down. So we've now got Retribution up again. 
um, and now it's just a case of just hammering this clay to see and of course we've got rid of now the uh, the enraged Jedi helps us that's really nice we'll reward him by killing him and then big hit are we on am I brave enough for the big hit yet no there's no buffs up but never mind and got a group attack oh, of course as you can see I lost what was it I lost? I think I lost some fact actually. Because I'm down a Geo, but Geo Spy for the win with that big stingy strike thing. And Ackley defeated Relic 7. Thank you for watching.